when you consider the spot that these teams are in, um, based on Zadarov's comments, based on what we heard from Nazem Kadri before, and based on the situation that they're in trying to bounce back and what we've seen from this team to start, I've got the Flames right at the top of that list because that to me is a sign of a team. When you start to hear that publicly, that usually happens in March, April, the end of the season as you get close to locker cleanout day. Very rarely does that come out in late October, three weeks into the season. I've got the Sens next and you know, you can never really rely too much on the words that players use, but when Claude Giroux said this week, it's not time to hit the panic button, I'm like, ooh, panic button. That's interesting. Uh, so the Sens, to me, are, are a team to continue to monitor. I thought they looked good the first few games. Since then, have struggled a little bit. I have concern about the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I've talked and was open, you know, heading into the season about – their ability to try and assimilate Eric Carlson doesn't have a single point on the power play yet. Uh, four points in six games to start. And I think for a team that had so many issues defending in its own end, um, that to me is what stands out for the Pens. And I'm really kind of less concerned about the Oilers. They hit, you know, a couple games to start that, you know, in years past, they probably would have won. I'm thinking of the home games that they've had, you know, the, the second game against the Canucks, the game against the Jets, you know, they had really good stretches in those games. Their record would probably look a little bit different if they were, you know, three and three or something like that, that, you know, you wouldn't be uh, raising the alarms just yet on the Oilers. Yeah. And that's the reason why, and we'll flash up mine here in a second. I have the Oilers fourth too. Like, I mean, I, I've been following this team long enough to be able to say they, every season, they have a month where they look awful. This might just be the month where they look awful and it's happening at the start of the season, whatever. The Calgary Flames, I actually had it three on my list just because I still believe in this roster enough. Like, I think, you know, if Zadarov doesn't make those comments yesterday, we're probably not even talking about them all that much today. Um, the Sens, the pens, I have, huh? Pardon? The Pens are the one to me that jumps out when I look at this. Yeah, I just sit there and I go, okay, remember last year, they missed the playoffs. And a lot of things went right for them. Like they had their vets stay healthy for that whole season. Frank, that's never a guarantee with any team, never a team, never mind a team that's as old as the Pittsburgh Penguins are. I haven't been very impressed with the Eric Carlson thing early on. I, I'm not sure if that experiment is working through six games. And if that experiment's not going to work, then they're running back the same team that missed the playoffs last year. You know, I just, I don't know if they addressed their core issues this summer and through six games. I'm not inspired to believe that they've done that. Yeah, I think that's a totally fair assessment. And you could argue in some ways that they might have even gotten worse because, yeah, they changed out the bottom six. Mm -hmm. and But they also eroded a little bit of their depth, uh, particularly on the blue line. Like, I think Jan Ruda had a really disappointing year last year, but he's still a good defenseman that you've now shipped off to San Jose. And you took back a guy in Carlson who, yes, 100 point score and he may score 75 this year but if he doesn't fit in with what you're trying to do I'm not really sure how much it's going to help you for a team that already missed the playoffs